Hello and welcome to today's the second Duel Masters podcast. Um, and uh, I'm sorry, I have been um, I've been sick a whole lot. Um, so now I try to make a lot of videos, but I will not upload them uh, one after another. Uh, we'll just keep them here because I'm I'm going to be busy soon. Uh, today I'm going to take for me um, the. Um, um, uh, I have to read Japanese cards, basically. <laughs> if it's 10 or 11, uh, 11, I think, 11, 12, uh, 11, I think, I think. <laughs> However, uh, today I'm going to take for me a b something we have before, but I'm going to um, make it something, a mind trick for you, to re memorize a whole lot better, you know. Uh, so, I will show you this now first. Uh, you don't have to care too much about it. Uh, we ha have uh, Katakana no me, which also means I or eyes, ki, which means tree, uh, katakana ha, and katana. Uh, katana is means sword. And what kind of sword is it means? Well, <coughs> this is a katana. This type of sword, the old samurai used this sword to cut up people. That was exactly how it was. Uh, what it was made for, and that's what um, that what it, it used as a weapon. But it has a really easy kanji there. Yes, <laughs> that's a really easy one. Uh, but it's used in other kanjis as well. Um, it's kind of handy to know it because um, it's used in a few kanjis. Uh, they often use in uh, dual masters. Uh, this is going to be for you to memorize more than anything else. So uh, let's get started. So what I'm going to take for me today is this. Uh, look over here first. See, this is key. This is the, the uh, kanji for tree. This is the font of it. As you can see, it's a bit shorter at the end, and it's put together. And that's just to explain that it's uh, it's put next to something. So um, just cross that one out. And uh, you see what I have left with there. Like this is Jibun. I told you about Jibun earlier, but it, the first one had this one you should remember. It's um, it's an uh, katakana no and a me, I exactly uh, in one of them. And this one is what you are going to remember. This one. It does not mean anything alone, but when you put this one uh, to you, it means your like uh, your. Yours something uh, it's like your uh, so jibun is when it's your creature is uh, jibun or kuricha I'm going to that later uh, the other one here is um, it's the uh, kanji for uh, minute boon poon or fun is what it's uh, spelled basically here is boon jibun uh, so that is what it's uh, put together with uh, the thing under here is so let's get the opposite. It's aite. I is put together with uh, tree and um, I, uh, and then the kanji for hand, which I've uh, been showing you earlier. Uh, aite is opponent or uh, partner or um, uh, yeah. Uh, aite prea is for, uh, the full thing. Uh, but if you say uh, hand, like playing hand, te fuda, you see te is used again. And you see the tree radical used again, just uh, 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 just another thing at the end here. Which is uh, like uh, a shi or a hiragana shi or a katakana re or something, which is put next to it. So it's uh, te fuda, which is your hand. The G you should remember. Try to write it. One stroke like this, one down, one to the side and down, and then take one, two, three like this, and there you go. This is how it's written. I don't suggest that you study every single kanji. Uh, this is just for you to let it just stick to your mind, you know. <laughs> uh, look at this. Uh, now the first hair. You can take first the first thing here. This. It's written Ji Bun No Tan. It really means your turn. Jibun is one word. You can see that in Roman, Roman, uh, Roman letters there. J I uh, 
B U N G boom. This is how you say it. But if you spell it in uh, hiragana, we'll just say G bu m G bu m. Uh, and G is one kanji, and bu and n is one kanji there. So uh, instead of three, you get one. Uh, usually, we'll say see them over. Uh, but jibun is how it's uh, written. No is just the uh, apostrophe s. Yours or your in this uh, situ situation, you just say, um, except that it's not uh, you, but it's your. It's your uh, tan, turn. Tan means turn. Jibun no tan. This is just make the ta sounds longer, so I, I wrote it with two a's instead. Jibun no tan. So, uh, <laughs> that's exactly, but uh, aite is opposite. That's why I uh, talk about this. It's, um, here you will say, uh, a ai te pureya no tan. Aite pureya no tan. You will see aite, the first one is a i, and the other one is te. I te te is hand basically <laughs> uh, and I uh, a i t e i te a i te i te i te so <laughs> just um, make the spelling become uh, better and pureya is just uh, that increase that it is an uh, opponent not a partner or something no tan that would be the same. It's your opponent's turn. So this is the diff main difference here. Jibun no tan. Aite pureya no tan. Jibun no tan. Aite pureya no tan. So, that is exactly how it works. It's actually, this is easy. Uh, usually this is not anything because I go on through this. Uh, for the next time, I think uh, this would be... Uh, more useful. Uh, this was everything I had to say, uh, tell you today. It wasn't much, but it's it. And uh, see you next time.